Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patron to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Reptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall and Charlene Kelly for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys and welcome back to Simulis Today, Darkness Falls mod. So last episode we faced the day 14 horde. Uh, frame rate went like to 10 frames per second. So <laughs> I think we might want to face horde knights either on 32 Blood Moon spawn instead of 64 or just away from town. Um, the problem is where though. Should I put it close to the wasteland? But the wasteland also causes lag. The uh, big problem right now is I think because of the town over here, we're getting way much, way more lag. There's zombies spawning any, everywhere and breaking everything. But if you were on a base a little bit out of nowhere, the zombies will have no or nothing to break, nowhere to go, and you can get more done. At this stage, they were just breaking too much stuff. Okay, anyways, uh, we now have a chemistry station. We also have a level 56 range thanks to the horde. Uh, let me just put that back on. And yeah, I think I grabbed all the stuff that I had on me, I hope. We also need to see if we can't combine a few thing, more things over here because at the moment, yeah, this is starting to get full and we are starting to get low on durability over here. But we have so much stuff right now. We even have this uh, P225 pistol over here, level 45, so that's really good. Um, our level right now, though... It's level 46. We need to soon start focusing on getting ourselves some foil weapons. Because very soon we're going to start getting demonic zombies. And that is going to suck. Oh, did I just lose durability on that? I think it went from 22 downwards. Yeah, damn, I forgot. I haven't spent any points over here in armor crafting, guys. But I've decided. I'm going to wait for two more points. And then I'm going to go and go for this mastery over here. 10 points. I know you can wait for the mastery class. But at this stage, we keep on getting encumbered, getting slowed down. And also, if you look at the Master Book, it requires a 480 skill notes plus 120 because you need to make a book of that class anyways. So that's 600 skill notes. We don't have that time. So I'm going to go for the advanced one. And then the nice thing is, if I go for this survivalist, you actually get the M4A1. It's, it says it right there, M4A1. Biofuel, gas can, gunpowder ba uh, bundle, titanium machete recipe. All that stuff's not that great. Uh, wait, increases crafting tier by 10 for cloth, leather, scrap, iron, and steel armor. Nice, so I can actually make myself some steel armor that's really great quality. Also, I want to see what armor can I make right now. I think it's low because of the fact that I haven't invested anything in armor, right? Yeah, it's really low. I need to be able to make myself some steel armor and stuff like that as well. Because at the moment, we're just not doing really well. <laughs> we're struggling a bit. Um... If I take this, no, let's just take the blue ones. I heal myself with the blue ones over here. Uh, we need to see if we can't start making ourselves some first aid kits and stuff as well. These red ones run out really fast. And we used our last first aid kit during the horde. So that's how much we got hit by vultures and stuff. The nice thing is we can just buy from the scout. But that's if the scout has that day. Uh, also, we do have enough for the next class. And I wonder if we have enough dyes and stuff. We need black dyes. And for black dyes, we need... Yeah, we need two black dyes. And for the black dyes at the moment, we just need uh, two yellow per, or one yellow per, right? Because we do have the chem station. So if I go for dye... Oh, there's two blacks per ink. So if you do this, uh, you have to use two... You have to uh, do two yellow dyes, two red and two blue, two times for two uh, uh, blacks for two inks. So unfortunately at the moment... <sighs> We can make one black. Do we have Xanthomums left? Uh, please tell me we do. Only eight. Oh, then again, who knows? Perhaps with our chem station at the level all. Now that we have a chem station, we'll be able to do it a little bit better. So let's go for dye. Yellow. And we just need some fuel over here. Yellow dye. There you go. Four. Oh, that's enough. That, that's enough. Just enough. Nice. Uh, we do need some red dye as well, right? So we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4 red, 1, 2, 3, 4 blue, and then we're just going to need ourselves some water. Also, do I have enough eggs? 20, yes we should. So we need eggs, we need honey, and we need normal water. And I think what I'm going to do is just do this so I can, uh, no, uh, so I can just stack back in. Okay, so we can start making one black dye at the back. Now as soon as we have that, we'll be able to make ourselves another class book 
Uh, we have the pa well, we have that, we have that quill we need. We need city paper and then the quill. Cool, there you go. Okay. Come on, I need four black dyes. Because a per each ink requires two dye, uh, two black, right? Ink. No, just one black. Okay, yeah, then I'm making more than enough right now. That's good. Rather have too many than too few. Nice. I forgot that since we have the chem station now, it's much easier getting stuff done. Okay, so the rest of the... We still have an extra yellow because I made four. So we can put away for now. And then the nice thing is now we have one of each color in here. So later when I need to uh, dump dyes, I can just easily dump it. So we need this. We need this. We need to start making some ink as well. And the fuel is about to run out. Boom. Okay, I need to go actually chop down some wood. If we keep this as our actual base and do the wood base at the back, for example. Yeah, that's something we can actually do. Keep this as our base. Um, because, I mean, this doesn't matter. But make a wood base right there, for example. It's not too close to the wasteland. Although, if you make it close to the wasteland, you're going to get more demons and behemoths and stuff. So, that might actually help as well. But for now, I think this is going to be the perfect spot. Not too much lag. Just take away the trees. Uh, cut them all down. And then the frame rate should be a little better. I'm just afraid with the snow. All those sensitive blocks is... Um, remember, that in the snow biome, the... In the snow biome, the snow is actually very weak. So every vomit or something is going to break a block. And that's going to cause a ton of lag as well. Oh yeah, and then we just need the skill notes. Do that. Thank you. Boom. I still don't know what class I'm actually going to make right now. So I need to decide quickly. Uh, but for now, we can just put all of the other stuff away. I wonder if I shouldn't put the inks with the dyes. Then I know exactly where it is. It feels weird having the box moved up now because I keep forgetting it's upstairs. Okay, now we just have to go do a ton of quests and stuff. Um, let me just see over here. We need the farmer class. If I can get the farmer mastery, although that's far away, then we can get ourselves an automatic gun. But we already looted a crappy quality automatic shotgun, so we don't need this. We just need to get lucky. Uh, Master Hunter we don't need. I might need this one. If I get this one, we'll get all the skill points back that will be invested elsewhere. So all those skill points we get back on our skill points of here, which is good. Um, and also this advanced one gives you titanium tools, right? And that's going to help us mine a lot faster. We have this one. We have scavenger. Scientist. Ooh, this is going to help us first aid kits and stuff. I think let's go for scient. Uh, but we need the laborer as well. Security is going to give us the M60. Scientist. Marshall is giving us what? Anti-rad meds. So you can actually get into the radiation zone and just drink the meds. Uh, then you don't need the radiation clothing as far as I'm aware. Plasma baton, advanced healing items. Junk drone. I wonder if that's like a junk turret or actual drone. Because if you can make the drone, that will be awesome. But I don't know if that's the drone it means. Uh, bladed weapons. Man, this is really hard to decide. It's either between laborer or scientist. For scientists, we need the first aid kits. But if you have the schematic for it, let's just see. Uh, first. Okay, the kit is still locked, but this one we can make. So as long as we can make this one for now, that's fine. It's just way more healing than we have this one over here. Uh, so let's go for labor one. Uh, because then we get some skill points back as well. So it makes sense, right? We're going to go for labor. Uh, oh, you have to do it over here. Ramda was like, wait, what? Labor, there you go. Grab that. We should be able to quickly run through these quests because we have everything required to do it. And also soon I'm going to have to make, start making myself some more food. I'm running out of these foods over here. I should probably see if I can't quickly make it now. If you have the stuff here, why not? So all I need to do is this. Uh, ooh. See, the problem is the egg. No, it, this doesn't require eggs. Nice. Okay, so I'll make this one then. I'll make this one. I'll make pasta, chili, and I don't want to make bacon and eggs right now because, like I said, we're going to need the eggs later for, no, uh, for more fast papers. Okay, so what do we need to do for this class? Yeah, the small stone and clay. We should actually have all of that. Clay and small stone. Grab, scrap. Modify. 
Remember guys, in Darkest Falls, you can remove them and sell them separately. That's the best way to do it. Should, should do this. Okay, craft cobblestone shapes. Cobblestone, place the cobblestone. Oh, damn. I already placed all the cobblestone. Oh, so I'm gonna have to make new ones. Um, yeah, I already made all the cobblestone shapes. So I can't craft new ones, but I can place them. What are you guys doing over here? You're making so much noise. Oh, lag. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there's a ton of you guys here. I mean, it's free XP, so I want you guys to come. But is there a stone? Yeah, there's a stone vault over there. If I had a proper steel pick, like a proper one with just enough stamina, or an auger, you'd actually go get a ton of stone over there. With the amount of stone you get from one of those mounds, you can easily get a ton of concrete mix. I hear another dude somewhere. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, guys, if you go block for block without caving it in, and you destroy one, uh, destroy one of those stone formations, the amount of stone you can get is almost endless. Like, easily 12,000 stone or something like that. Now I have to go kill these because they're coming closer and closer to my base. At least we're getting more eggs. You know what, I'm going to do this. But I think my shots are actually calling more and more and more zombies. I don't want to be endlessly killing just a random zombies coming to me. And that has nothing to do with uh, being close by the town because, I mean, all of these zombies are coming out of the nowhere. If I'm not mistaken, in Darkest Falls, zombies in the middle of nowhere like this are spawning less and less and less and they spawn more in buildings or in towns. So why the hell am I getting that many spawn outside of town? Yeah, I should probably see if I can't make myself... Wait, did I make that shotgun or did I forget to? I can't remember. Oh, okay, anyways, uh, damn, I've got to craft cobblestone rocks. Okay, so per one is five. Yeah, we need to make 500 cobblestone rocks. Five minutes. Do we have, yeah, we should have a workbench as well, right? It's just a shame that I already made all the cobble blocks. That's, say, that's wasting a ton of time right now. So let's go and make 250 over here and 250 on us. It's going to be faster. It's a shame that I used all my cobble, man. I had so much cobble, I could have easily made used that to make the shapes, but I already made shapes for my new base. Basically, the inside is going to be cobble and then the outside is going to be concrete. That's why I have so much cobble on me. And then we need to go do more quests so I can get more concrete, buy it from the trader packs. And get lucky. Although, all I really need right now is a ton of stone and sand. Look at this. We have stacks upon stacks upon stacks of cement. So now we just need the stone and conc and um, st stone and sand. There you go. I don't know. I'm getting so confused while I'm talking right now. I'm hiccuping as I'm going as well. Okay, yeah, we made the receiver. Uh, weapon parts. Now I just need the shotgun barrel. That one. And what else? This one. Oh, if I had one more receiver, I could actually make two shotguns. I wonder if I shouldn't try and make another one. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. Am I missing something here? Pump shotgun. Oh, one oil. For a moment, I was like, what the hell? I know that I'm able to make it, but I didn't want me to make it. Okay, so while that's crafting in the background, we need to make ourselves some cobble shapes. We need to make 100. Oh, this is going to take forever, it feels like. At least we're getting some proper food over here, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, drop that. This we can sell, why not? It's not really necessary to sell it, but we can just sell while we have it. The only problem with doing class quests like this, especially if you want to finish it as you start it, is the fact that now I have to wait for that to finish crafting. Which is only two and a half minutes, but it feels like an eternity sometimes. Okay, so now I just have to make 39 more. Oh, so that's 91, so I have to make 9 more. I hate it when you guys are wailing on my building for nothing. 
Honestly, some of these corpses definitely do turn into core blocks, which is awesome because you can get some bones this way. Now, although I think I saw it happen in Where's UK as well, because that's where I mentioned that it happens. And I think it happens way more scarcely there. I think the chance of the gore blocks adding up of here has been added a bit more. I might be wrong, because I thought... I even thought Kane made it double as hard to level up, but it seems to not be the case. Okay, so we need to make nine more. One, two, three, there you go. It says craft cobble shape, so I can't even put it over there. Well, what I could do is open both. So, for example, I need to make 39 more, right? I can do this. As long as I have both my windows open, it counts double. You can actually see it's going way faster. But if I close this window now, because it says craft, it's not going to count. So I have to keep this window open until this finishes now. At least it's not going to take too long. Now, it says plus, uh, place these shapes. Um, I don't know where I want to make a horde base. Like I said, if I make it in town over here, let me just quickly figure this out. If I make it over here in town, and I just make it encapsulate, uh, encapsulate myself so I can't see everything uh, behind me and inside and stuff, the only problem is they actually started to do some damage to the surroundings over here as well. Um, I, I think they might have actually been inside this, but they were definitely inside there. So if I make a horde base there, what are the chances of the zombies actually being inside my base? You know, also, the thing is, if you make your base there, you're going to have to dig up that middle thing over there and also all the paint. For those of you who need to Alpha 20, that paint over there, is that's not paint. That's actually stone. I want to see if I can't get myself a nice open spot that I don't have to go dig with. If I do it right in front of the shop over here, but that's still on the ground. So if I do a quest, it resets. That's my major worry right now. I need to make it... Uh, that's why I say I think we should do it at the back. Even though we don't have the nice hard asphalt underneath. Um, it's just, I think, better that you don't have to worry about resets with um, trader quests and stuff. So that was finished just now. We have to place these. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't place these 100 to my base. So my base also needs it. And I, I did say that I want to block this at the back over here. So I, what I could do is make... It could be a plate as well. It doesn't really have to be anything fancy. Do that on face. Come on. Come on. There you go. Copy rotation. Now we block off the holes the zombies can see us through. Whoops. Just please don't break your legs, John. Only problem is obviously that block over there. I might just have to destroy that block to be able to do this. I mean, if I just have to destroy every now and then a block, then that's fine. As long as I don't have to keep destroying blocks, then that's going to suck. There's way too much work. Okay, so that's on face rotation, copy rotation, and we keep going. Remember guys, on face rotation is very finicky. So if you accidentally leave it on it, and you keep going, you can actually see the green shape moving weirdly sometimes. So it's way easier. Uh, for example, it can be on face then, it places upside down. You have to be so careful with how you place these shapes, otherwise it messes up. I won't be able to do it from on top, but when I tried it just now, I fell off. It's probably going to be faster if I do it from on top, but I don't fall off. Okay, and final. Well, I'm going to go all the way, why not? It's not like it, it's not necessary, because the zombies will still see us when we're standing up there. I want to block... Any and all views the zombies have of us. So now the same on this side. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. On face. Copy rotation. And now it just doesn't fall off. Whoa, lag. No, no. Copy rotation. The nice thing is as long as you place against the green block... like You don't have to aim too well. Because all you have to do is make sure the green block isn't... Look at that. I'm, I'm not even aiming on that block sometimes. It's just the green block connected to it. But the block knows it's supposed to place there. It makes it so much easier. I'm actually glad they actually have that function in the game. Okay, now last one. No, that's not going to work. That needs to be a full block. Just see what's happening on this side. So what I could do now is just do this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to destroy that. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do as well, we can just do the last few like this. Our base does need to be quite well and nice and strong because we don't want any vultures and stuff vomiting at it. Especially when the Horde Knights get really, really insane and we start getting demons. The stray vomit and rockets and stuff mustn't blow up a base. But I'm going to make sure that the way we face the Horde, they come, for example, from that direction. Um, or that direction. They mustn't come from the snow and they mustn't come from this direction. If they come from the snow and they vomit, they hit our base. If they come from this direction, they run uh, through our base. 88, 89, 90, 91, come on, almost there. Probably just make sure we place behind these first. I should probably have started everything just behind this. Okay, now, gather iron. That's just scrap iron, right? Scrap iron, wood, leather, and... Okay, this we have. I put it under the tools over here, the scrap tools. This and this. Okay, gather small stones, gather clay. Uh, three duct tape and short iron pipes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gather forge, place forge. Gather the forge. You don't have to make the forge again. That's a nice thing. All you have to do is pick it up and place it down. Come on. It seems actually there's a wandering hall downstairs, which is fun. I want to go kill it. I just don't want all of the zombies going inside my base and then wrecking it while I'm standing on top. The feral sense that is a definite possibility. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna have to run a bit. Let's run this way. Oh, doggy. This is a really bad horde. I'm gonna have to run again. Oh crap. Run, 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 run. That thing's really close to breaking. Oh, look at all these right here, zombies. As long as we kill all the dogs, we should be fine. Oh, a radiator horde. This is so not good. I freaked out when I saw how many radiant zombies there were just now. Although the dogs are the only real challenge. Oh nice, I love when we hit multiple zombies at the same time. Okay, so that was a path of destruction like no other, damn. If I kill the dogs though, I think I might have been able to survive quite easily. Although they might have got, especially with three dogs attacking you, they might have actually been able to inflict some pain. Probably just quickly get all the bones as well. I keep on needing glue and duct tape and stuff, so I'd rather do this than I know I don't need it later. And that last power attack just drained me. And I didn't even order the last power attack. I don't know why it sometimes does that. It's like you hold the button for just a split second too long and it decides it wants to attack still. That last attack just now, for example, that wasn't me. Oh yeah, that should be a nice amount of bones for now. They actually gave me some iron over here as well. Although we don't really need the iron, so I'll leave it for now. Man, look at all the corpses. I wonder if these corpses also add to the lag. Like, if they stay in the area for too long, does that also cause lag? I'm guessing it does, right? From now on, I just need to, before it even finishes, let go, because it's going to auto-finish for me anyways. Like, the last hit on the corpse just now, that wasn't me again. <laughs> but I let it just do its own thing, so I don't waste stamina. Okay, so, this gun we should be able to repair without losing durability. But even if we do lose durability, that's fine. I just want to combine it with this one over here. Okay, and then also we can scrap this or sell it. I'm going to scrap it. Scrap iron. We can actually repair this one and sell it. Uh, let me just see over here the tools. Scrap tools. Is that one? Okay, and I'm repairing this one for no reason then. 
I just want to make sure that later when I ask you to gather again, we do have pieces. Two parts, and then we can just well scrap this one and this one. Okay, so what was I busy with over here? Let's just check. This is doing nothing. This is doing nothing. Uh, our book is already... Oh yeah, this is a book. We need to gather forged iron. 30. 30 forged iron, and then craft the baseball... Oh, do we have a baseball bat? I think we actually might have one. Please tell me we do... No, we don't. I think I sold it. Okay, so baseball bat. It says gather, so as soon as that's done, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can do that at the back, and then combine the two guns. 35, nice. We, unfortunately, we can only go up, up to level 40, and that's still green. Level 41 is blue. If we can actually go up higher than that, that would have helped us tremendously when selling. Okay, and then... See, we have concrete mix over here. So what I could do is either upgrade the cobble that we place, or we can uh, uh, place the cobble and then place a concrete... Uh, wrap around that. Either way, we can actually make ourselves a whole base already. I'm just gonna put this away for now, though. Um, let, let's just see how far we get with these shapes. Let's actually do this. Let's, far, let's see how far we can get. If we can actually place all of these shapes, and it's big enough, then we'll go and we'll upgrade with the concrete mix. Or I need to make sure that it's just close to big enough, and then we can actually place these full blocks. Yeah, that should also help. The only thing is, I'm also thinking of leveling up. If we level up pro, uh, through upgrades, we actually get the XP for it. Ooh. Points available, 16. How? Oh, we got skill points back. It's because of the laborer class, right? We got these skill points back. Nice. So that means we can actually go and do this. Master of Survivalist. And then now... Oh, but I lost that one. It is a tailoring workbench. Remember, it's at the other trader. No, wait. Oh, that sucks. We were able to make one, but now that we're laborer class, we first have to invest in the engineering over here. That's why you got the skill points back. Okay, so where is the tail tailoring workstation? This one, not this one. I'm guessing it's this one. A man forge does what? You can craft tools and the workbench. Wait, what? Yeah, I first need to compl uh, complete this uh, train over here, and then I might be able to go further. Now we can make big forges again. Uh, concrete mixer and concrete and advanced forge. But we should be able to make ourselves the uh, tailor workstation right now. These are time it's going to be locked under something else. Tailoring workstation, workbenches. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Workbenches. The, I need to wait. I already invested in this. But we got it back just now as well. So now I want to see if I get this back right now, right? And I invest in the laborer class over here. I can max it out. Can I make it or not? Or do I still have to go for the workbenches? Because doing this already gives you... Scrap tools. You can, start, you can craft a forge and start building with forged iron. Craft a big forge. Steel crucible, arrowheads, mixer. I want to see if I max this out quickly. I should be able to get go all the way to over here now because my player level is over 20. But I just need that back right now as well. And that should also level me up, so I should see another level up right now. Okay, let's just drop all the food in the proper container. And then also, like I said, we need to start doing our horde base next episode. So hopefully we can actually get that far. That would be awesome. Forged iron we can put away for now. This we can put away. Hopefully we're not going to need any of this stuff again. Otherwise, I have to grab all of it out of the boxes again. Okay, food goes over there. Medicine goes over here. And boom. Okay, so now it says we have completed the chain class. Now, let's see again. Tailor workstation. Workbenches. Okay, so if I go for... What is this? Reduces time of crafting. That just reduces crafting times. But this one... Actually, gives you the stuff. I still have to go for the workbenches crafting. I really thought we already had that. Table saw, workbench, and then... Taylor workstation. I already had that. Wait, wait. Oh, well, we'll get it again. Why not? Because, I mean, we already crafted that stuff at the other traders, so we definitely had skills in it, but it reset the skills for some reason. Um, okay. Taylor workstation. We need to make it quickly. Forged iron. Uh, we need 
50 wood and 20 electrical parts. And 50 wood. I'm just gonna grab it like so. Okay, so the workstation. Do I make that on me or can I I can make it over here? So as soon as that's done, I'm gonna make myself the bigger backpack. Because or the large backpack, because with that, we should not have to worry at all anymore about inventory space. It's gonna open up the last few slots over here. Let me just see. I need to make about 45 more. Because I want to be able to stack up in a way if something attacks me. Okay, so this weapon goes over here. The tools go over there. I want to see how many quests we can actually do before the next horde hits as well. Obviously, I am going to start working on my actual horde base over here. Um, but also, we're going to need a lot of ammo and stuff as well. So I'm going to go with my uh, my old uh, defense that I know is tried and tested. And as soon as that's up and running and we have a proper horde base, then we can start experimenting with stuff as well. Darkness Falls makes this really hard with all the demons though. Because defenses that will definitely 100% work in vanilla fail instantly in Darkness Falls because of all the demons and the bosses and stuff firing rockets and stuff. Uh, this mod is designed to kill you. Let me just do that. It's going to fill us up nicely. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm going to first make the defense that we've always been using, so it might be boring for some of you guys. But rather do that and know you're safe and then work on a new defense, then do something from the start that's going to fail and you just wasted so much resources. How many zombies over here? Hello? No, you guys are running at night, but come on, leave me alone. Hello, hello, hello. Former gangster. Yeah, you guys are tough. Okay, and two more skill points to spare. Nice. Hello? Uh, okay, I do not think you guys are going to come right now. It's because... I just... Wait, but I didn't really make noise, did I? Wait, what? Again, more. Yeah, and all the zombies are coming from out there. They're not even in town. Oh, crap. Come on. Damn. Okay, there's an endless supply of zombies coming right now, so it's an endless supply of XP as well. But see, this is why making a, a base in the city is really not a good idea. Because so many zombies actually show up. But what bothers me is the fact that so many are coming from the forest. They're not even coming from the city. And usually, I have not mistaken, uh, Darkest Falls is made in such a way that the zombies are supposed to be mostly in the city. Unless I'm getting confused because, uh, between another mod of Kane, but I, I know that as a feature. Okay, so we have nothing over here. Taylor workstation should almost be done, and then this is done over here. Oh, wait, we have a Taylor workbench. Ooh, I just almost wasted resources. We do have a Taylor workbench. Go large backpack. What do we need? We need a sewing kit, leather, military fiber, and duct tape. Please tell me I have all of that stuff. I don't think we have enough military fiber. Okay, um, duct tape. And leather. And a sewing kit. I almost made I was for about to, I was about to say I could have sworn I had a teleworkbench. workbench. I almost made a big mistake. Ooh, I need 20 military fibers. If not mistaken, the military fibers you get from military clothing, right? Like this. Yes. So, I wanted to sell these because these sell for quite a bit. Wait, those were the last ones. These only need to be steel or something. Oh, damn. Okay, so uh, before I can even make myself a bigger backpack, we need to go looting more. I could have sworn we had some military clothing over here that I could actually use. But that does not seem to be the case anymore. Okay, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we start making our horde base. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.